So last week I looked at the Lee Chess database and I was absolutely gobsmacked by what I actually saw when I looked at the data of my own games. So what I've been doing for a long, long time, I've been playing E5 to E4. And I've just been developing, I've been going into different Roy systems and things like that. But recently I've been playing around with B6, the Owens setup, and I've also been playing around with like G6 and things like that and experimenting in Blitz. And what I like to do is play you know, several hundred games in, in those sort of different structures, quickly learn the structures and then consult the actual database and look at the stats and the details on exactly how these are opening to testing against the normal E5 response. And last week I looked at the database and I was absolutely gobsmacked. Like I said, I just cannot believe what I've actually seen. And you can do this as well if you play on Lee Chess. So what you need to do is go to the Lee Chess database. And then what you want to do is change it from either the master setting or the Lee Chess database, the amateur database setting to player and then select in the color that you want to look at. I'm looking at black in this case. And so what I was thinking last week was, was my B6 Owens defense working? How was that working against my normal E5 response? So I clicked on E4 to see the responses and I'm looking at E5, 46% win rate for black, which is probably slightly lower than amateur should be, probably around about 48. And then my B6 was 40%. Like, so that's, it's clearly not, really working at the moment playing the Owens. That's quite a big drop down from 46, but this is what I was surprised at actually. And it was actually 52% when I looked last week, played a few more games. The French defense coming up at 52% as it was last week. A few more games, knocked it down slightly at 51, but still 51% against 40%, like, which is what I've been playing the B6 systems. And against 46 was like unbelievably eye-opening, right? I mean, that is huge, and that's the French defence, and it's a structure of, I've hardly ever played. I've not played that many games, to be fair, there's 39 games, so the data could be could be a little bit, you know, skewed towards favouritism, because it's not the not, not the numbers to compare it. But what I'm actually going to do there is look at playing the French defence as Blight, because the numbers don't lie, the stats don't lie, really. What I need to do is probably get that over 100 games and then come back and have a look. But the French defence, and even this thing, D6... I don't remember playing D6. Maybe I played D6, I was reviewing a book. And even that's better than like the B6 Owens setup that I've been doing, the English and the Owens with B6. And also compares with E5. It's absolutely ludicrous. D4. I mean, let's just click on that. French defense for a bit. And you know, we're getting 54% win rate in this typical structure. And what it was leave is simply going into this Fort Knox variation, yeah. And there's only there's only a very few amount of games there to be fair. But this is a system which I saw on one of those I go Smirnoff videos playing a Fort Knox variation in Fre in French defence. And it was basically playing the bishop here and let's let's have a look at the next month for example. And seeking to trade off this light square bishop in this position I should play uh, what was so let's say I have a standard move. This knight really should come to this position. But anyway, so it, it looks like the, the French defense is something that I need to do. I need to certainly look more closely at and maybe even switch to. And what about though, what about D4? And this is what you need to do really, sort of play around with the database and look at the stats. So as black against D4, I mean, this is poor, you know, playing around with D5, is what my default sort of setup has been over the years. 43% is just way, way low. And knight f6, basically basically the same. b6 again, 40%. The b6 experiment, it's not working. It's not working against e4. It's not working against d4. But playing around with g6, I'm good into the modern. 48%, there's a massive chunk of difference. And like somebody said, oh, there's not much difference between like a 3% in the, in the database. There is a huge percent of difference between 3% win rate when you're playing, you know, hundreds of games. That, that, does, that does matter. That will improve rating. And certainly 48 from what will be, you know, 40% playing that. 48, 8% swing in win rate is absolutely massive. It's absolutely massive. And these are only blitz games. Like mostly these are just casual blitz games. And, you know, they're not to be sort of taken massively seriously but data doesn't lie you know 48 percent 40 percent it's huge and this 
deserves further investigation. So what I need to do is basically look at playing the French defence. At least, at least look more closely into playing the French as black. And against the D4 setup, sort of like consider going into a modern structure. But let's have a look. I mean, when we go like that, when we get this structure, all right, we get C4, we're getting 59% win rate. And we're down to 22 games, so that's... Again, I need to play more games. Thing is though, all of this is only possible by playing Blitz late games online or rapid games to get the numbers up to look at the data. You know, if you're one of these people who just say, oh, I'll just play one game a week, it's just nowhere near enough to work out you know, what's exactly working and what's not working. If you played one or two games a week, you just don't get that information, you don't get that data. That initial snapshot of you know, how you could improve in your opening structures by experimenting around and then and then playing playing those sort of different openings. My my point's always been, how do you know what, what opening to choose? Until you sort of play many many games in the opening, you don't. It's a bit catch twenty two. Like you need to sort of learn the opening to get good at the opening. How do you know which opening's for you? Well, I think you know experimenting and playing lots and lots of blitz games, looking at the data, looking at the facts, looking at that, those stats. A fifty two percent win rate for French, fifty one percent now. When I've hardly ever really played it that much, I don't even know, I've not really looked that much into the lines, or I did face it as E4, so I have some knowledge looking at it from the other side of the board. But wow, you know, the Lee Chess database is an amazing resource, you know, if you play the games and analyse the data, I don't always go and look at that database, because I play on my phone, and you can't access player uh, stats on the actual app, you can only access Master Games and Lee Chess. So when I went to the actual database on my uh, computer, I was absolutely blown away. It's tried and tested. If you've played hundreds of games and you're getting you know, decent results, then that must just got to be you know, a clue that that opening is for you. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to investigate the French even further and possibly the modern setup with D4. But what is definitely not happening, unfortunately, is the B6 system just doesn't seem to be working. But what about white? Let's have a look at the white options. I've always played E4, always, always played E4. And recently I have switched to playing the uh, the b3 and the bishop b2 set up the, the nims are lost and set up I played it over the board and i've won two games recently in that system i'm really happy but what about the stats when i look at the lead chess database i'll switch into white what can i work out i can work out that my b3 experiment is doing pretty well 52 percent from my usual e4 openings at 48 percent obviously there is a huge huge historical you know backlog of games 5900 games is as e4 and like 160 as b3 but that is a very positive signal four percent increase in you know the overall uh, win rate for, for white point of view when i do click on e4 it's not a surprise to see that the the structure e4 e5 is pretty good for me 53 percent when i get the royal lopez structure it was always my favorite structure to play with and win rates were always pretty high in in that particular opening setup but against everything else which is the reason why i dropped playing e4 for the first time recently is that i just struggle against the french it's just not a surprise uh, and against scandinavian and against basically i mean sicilians are fine that's probably a bit low actually but it was all the other openings that i was struggling with and there's just too much theory so to switch into b3 was what i have uh, decided to do from a couple of weeks ago and it's working out pretty well i'm pretty happy with that uh, especially when black doesn't adopt to sort of cry and control e5, 58% win rate when I can get the setup where I control e5. So this is all analyzing after, you know, the fact of actually playing the games, looking at the data, I'm into a 71%. I mean, the games are getting fairly low now, but this is looking really promising for white. So this is what I would do if you are playing a lot of games. You can go to the Lee Chess database. You can analyze stuff, analyze the hell out of actual facts and data and work out you know, what openings are working and what openings aren't working. So thanks for watching the video and good luck with your opening analysis.